students can continue on to our part two, called our M Arch course, and uh, new this year is our new part three course, so students can go uh, the, the whole gamut, the whole spectrum of architectural education from, uh, from coming in as a, as a first year student to exiting as a registered architect. The M Arch programme at Kent celebrates diversity and experimentation. Getting your part two is fundamental to becoming an architect. We have a whole range of modules in fourth year, cultural context, which is essentially history theory of architecture from the middle of the 20th, 20th century onwards. Our students look at the work of other people and other architects, and in fifth year they develop their own, their case study is their own thesis project. Finally, there's um, programs or modules in professional practice. Um, we call it employability. So this is my fifth year at Kent. After doing undergrad, I got a job um, nearby in Maystone and I feel like Kent prepared me very well for that. The course has given me the ability to think critically about architecture. It's um, improved my model making skills, my software skills. Unique to Kent and um, to the M Arch, we have a module called Architectural Pedagogy. They join first year tutors in the delivery of design and communication education to our own first year. Some employers are fascinated to hear about pedagogy, which sets us aside and unique from all schools of architecture in the United Kingdom. We were recently revalidated by the Royal Institute of British Architects, so we are fully unconditionally validated until 2024. We look to Europe a lot. We, uh, in our um, taught masters. Uh, we, uh, we have a campus in Paris and we've just instituted uh, an exchange with uh, a Tokyo School of Architect at Kogakuin. Our programme is also professionally credited by LAM, the, the um, Board of Architects in Malaysia and also the Board of Architects in Singapore. My name is Andy, I'm a Year 5 uh, Master of Architecture student. Uh, the tutors and critics are very inspiring. I stayed in Hong Kong for 20 years almost and it's a very hustle and bustle city and I always kind of found it hard to find inspiration. Canterbury is a very good town and it's a very calm city for me to like explore. Here you see all the 3D fabrication technology but we also have 3D capturing technology. BIM has been very much, there's a requirement to be able to use that kind of software. And uh, we actually provide the, university, the schools uh, graduating students, so third years and fifth years, the ability to learn uh, Revit and undergo a examination that will certify them to be involved with this technology and to incorporate that in their kind of design briefs and studies now is very much beneficial for application to architecture when they actually go into the real world.